Imagination is the key And with Flexo you will see a flexillion possibilities Incredible Welcome along Flexo fam A big build this week and one that a lot of people have been waiting for Meet our friend Octo the Octopus Featuring our gorgeous new pastel brick colours Light purple and light green Octo is one of our favourites here are the parts that you'll need to make them. And here are the colours we've used. You can customise your octopus in any colours you like, from our brights range, our neutrals range or our pastels range. Jump onto our website and take a look at the pick a piece section. When building with Flexo, we use four different tendon lengths, from quite short to quite long, and we name them the T3, the T5, the T11 and the T19. Keep an eye on the top right hand corner of your screen for them as we build along together. Alright fam, settle in and let's get making. We're going to start by building the top of Octo's head. So we're using T3 tendons, green triangles and the first thing we do is we make a lovely circle. If at any stage during the video you're confused about which length of tendon we're using, just take a look in the top right hand corner of the screen. The token there will let you know. There's quite a bit of geometry involved in building the head, so once we've got our circle, we're going to attach T3 tendons to the outside edges and then triangle bricks to them. So we've essentially fashioned ourselves a six point star or maybe a ninja star. But no ninja stars today. We're gonna to carry on now with T5 tendons and we add one to every exposed edge of the triangles that we've just inserted. Then you take more triangles and insert them in between these gaps, connecting the T5 tendons into them. You'll notice that it begins to curve as you work. This is the top of Octo's head beginning to form. So at the moment it's just kind of a dome, but we'll continue by adding more T3s to the exposed triangles, and then lock those tendons off with our purple bricks. So now we'll continue by building the rest of Octo's head, including his face. And to do this, we begin by making a strand of green triangles. Now, you may need to pause the video here and catch up, and that's perfectly fine. Just follow along with us as we continue to create this pattern. It starts to look almost like a necklace. And within this necklace, we're creating some beautiful geometric shapes. You'll see circles beginning to emerge. There's all sorts of clever things going on in there. So we simply keep going step by step, adding our tendons, then adding the bricks. And here we are, filling in these gaps and joining up to those last tendons.
you've got what looks like a group of circles joined together. So take note here as we switch over to T5 tendons. You can see that in the top right hand corner of your screen. And then more triangles. Again, we're just working down the layers here and continuing to add our tendons and bricks. Now we're ready to connect the ends together. So, take the necklace in your hands and curve it around and you'll see that it joins perfectly into a lovely looking cylinder. Now we'll take the top of the head that we made earlier and connect it, working our way around. Here's a really great example of a time to be locking off the tendons as you attach them. Now, we didn't do that when we built today, but it's certainly something that you want to do. It makes your flexo a lot easier to manage and build with in your hands. So, every time you attach a tendon, just lock it off with your next purple brick. Here we attach two grey triangles and these will be the spots that will put Octo's eyes. So now we can also clearly establish the front of the head. This is going to be very useful for us later on in the video. If you'd followed our advice, you may already have some of these purple triangles attached, but if not, go ahead and attach the rest of them now. Now it's time to start making the legs. We're going to make three lengths of legs and we'll call them long, medium and short. The pattern of tendons that we use for each leg is essentially the same. We start with a T19, then we add a T11, then we add two T5s and then the rest of the circles are connected by T3 tendons. Now ultimately it's up to you how long or short you want to make your octopus's legs. We've gone for three lengths, you might like to do them slightly differently, but in our case, we're going for 14 circles on our longest legs. So we make three more of those, and now we'll make our medium length legs. Again, we start with a T19, then one T11, two T5s, and then the rest with T3s. And for our medium length legs, we're using 11 circle bricks. So we make three more of those, and now we just need to make two shorter legs. T19, T11, two T5s, and the rest T3. And our short legs comprise of eight circle bricks. So we need two of those. And now we can lay out all of our legs together and we can go ahead and lock them off with our purple bricks. With that done, we're onto the home stretch and we simply need to attach the legs to Octo. So, starting out on the front, follow us here as we take two green triangles, adding them to Octo's neck, and 
and this is the spot where we're going to use one of our long legs and one of our medium legs and then we lock them off right away. Now we go on either side of the front two legs So we're adding in our triangles to each side there, so that the legs have got a spot to attach. There's no right or wrong way of attaching your legs. We've simply gone long, medium, short, all the way around. But as you see here, we've gone for a shorter leg on the right hand side and a medium length leg on the left hand side. So with our four front legs attached, now we'll attach the four legs to the back so we simply won't have legs on the side of the octopus. Here we are attaching our triangles at the back, giving ourselves that spot to attach the first two back legs. And again, you can attach any leg in any position. It's entirely up to you. We've gone for short and medium directly in the back. And now with a brick on either side of those two back legs, we'll attach our final long legs. So on the front, we were using two triangles. Here on the back, we're only using one. So now all that remains is for us to give Octo the gift of sight by attaching a couple of eyes. And just like that, you've got your octopus ready to play and you can see how much fun it is. Fantastic legs that dangle. You can wear it like a hat, use it as a puppet, carry it around, attack your brother or sister. It's entirely up to you. Octo has a fantastic tactile feeling. His head is squishy, his legs are dangling. He's a brilliant addition to the Flexo range. We really hope that you enjoyed building him. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Every week, we're coming out with a brand new one. That's all for now, fam. Keep up with your imaginations, and we'll see you next week.